<laughs> Hello and welcome to the second part of our special episode of the Wider World of Sports podcast. This is episode number four and part two of the two-part series. My name is Greg Spicka, the Director of Athletic Communications here at Widener University. This morning we're joined by members of the women's basketball team, head coach Elisa Kittner, and Dr. Donna McCluskey. Sitting on my right, sophomore Mary McDillon. Mary, welcome back. Across from me, first year, Leah Samuels. Sitting to Leah's right, head coach Elisa Kittner. And sitting on my left, Dr. Donna McCluskey, a business professor. On this two-part episode, we'll dive into the Widener Athletics Professor and Athletic Team Relationship and Mentorship Program. Donna, welcome to the podcast. Thanks. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time and being here. So I'd say you've been a crucial part of getting this program started. You know, where do you see this going in the future? I've been a wide a long time. Thank you very much for not asking how long and giving any any dates in the intro. Um, and I was so excited to see this partnership happen because I think that we've had, whether it's a geographic divide or a cultural divide or just not knowing one another divide, but athletics and academics, you know, we, we haven't been as integrated as we could be. And you know, I think this partnership has just created dialogue about so many things that we that we could be doing, that we should be doing, and it's had such an impact on the, the campus culture. I would second exactly what Dr. Plus was saying. Uh, it's I'm going to beat myself for being here for 20 years, um, you know, and Donna being here a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> I, I've known Donna to see, you know, um, but the relationship that we built over this past year is something that has gone a long way for in my program, as well as the, the athletic and the academic standpoint. I've used her so many different times already this year, uh, mostly in recruiting for us um, at this point, but I have a lot of business management. So to see her be part of our faculty athletic rep as women's basketball, it's kind of nice, you know, with just these girls. They both have had her, right, I'm sure that, um, over that in class. So to see her as a professor and then have her come down to practice is a little bit different. You know, you saw her with Lauren, and I would say, I did too. There's not many, I, you're an associate. I am. Um, I could say that so there's not many coaches that I might have and associates in the cell phone. And I, I, I'm very thankful for that because it's just an easy way to communicate with her. And if I have any questions, she goes back to me and says, it's been great, been a great partnership so far. And it's a partnership that expands beyond just the partner sport that you have. Because um, once I started working with basketball, I was like, well, how many other sports have I not been to? I've been here years, and I've never <laughs> been to the softball field. Like, I literally did not know where the softball field was because it, I don't know, it's just never on my radar to, to start attending events and, you know, I was raising kids too. So, you know, part of it is that, you know, I have a little more freedom this year uh, with all of my kids in college. But, but I think that happened for a lot of, a lot of faculty, the, the attendance at different sporting events has really increased just because we're more aware, more connected. What do you guys feel um, having Dr. McCluskey as our faculty athletic work this year? Obviously, Mary, we didn't do this as your first year, and you being a first year, so we, we're new to this. But how do you see Dr. McCluskey helping you guys moving forward or in the past? Um, I definitely think having that practice was a huge really good for us because we had a rough start in the beginning and tensions were high, we were kind of stressed out and then when you came in and it was kind of just like there's other people that support us besides our coaches and our own, like our families. There's more people that care and it's kind of just like, just slow down. It's just the game, even though sometimes it feels like your whole life is like just depending on the game. It's just the game and we're here to have fun and just take it. Like it's, you're supposed to have fun, so just See, what I heard is fuzzy socks. I turned your season around. Like, that is yeah, what I heard. That is, that is really, exactly what happened. That, that dove chocolate really very, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very little in life that can't be solved with chocolate. Yeah, it's true. Um, I mean, to kind of go off of that, it's also just nice to have, I feel like, someone looking out for you. Because especially my first year, 
basically everyone was nursing or something. I think there was one other business major maybe. So I would always ask them questions, but now I feel like I can ask. Like I told Leah when she came in, like Gian her sister Gianna sent me her schedule and she had you and I was like, that's a good class to take. Like so it's like nice to know and I was like I could easily email you and like you know, so it's just easier to like reach out and it's like more comfortable. Not that that was ever an issue before, but it's just like I feel like more easy too because you know now what we're doing and you get to see that. So I feel like that's a bigger part of it, like seeing what we do every day. Say something else. So we, well, Mary probably missed a lot more um, in classes than I did, but I don't think I missed many for when I had you for management. But for my accounting class, I missed like two or three games. And Krenya, great lady, she's very, very understanding, but she doesn't have that same connection with our team that you have. So you see like what we're doing, the work we're putting in, and um, and like you're at our game, so you see like why we would need to leave class and go, but she might not have the same understanding because she's not she doesn't have this connection with us, which she's very understanding anyway, but um it's just a lot um it's a lot easier for you to like dismiss us and be like, oh like good luck and stuff, but you give us like our your good luck and then you're like you guys got it, but I don't know where I was going. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Cards, I mean I a picture of the whiteboard early on in the season with like when we were practicing. And I don't think that generally, you know, people outside of athletics understand the, the hours that you put in the span of the basketball season and what you guys do, you know, when we're on winter break and, you know, most of the student population, the faculty population, you know, isn't on campus. We've got this 168 hours in a week. And the faculty really only have me in class, like 15 hours, 18 hours. And so opening our eyes to, to what else our students and our athletes are doing is really, really impactful. One thing that I like is Dr. McCluskey and her husband, might I add, like, um, he's not allowed to be on the podcast. <laughs> Hotty mouth. <laughs> we need it but I had, uh, I asked him about the games uh, and next year we're going to do it with the since this is kind of, not a pilot program, but this was the start to see you know, how much involvement, where we could go, and this year what I really like is I have to sit on my next year a couple of times and we were down at the end and it, it was pretty awesome, you know, she, I think you guys got a nice perspective on the student market for how competitive they are, um, as well as the coaching staff, but I think it was um, great to have you be part of us and sit there and see them and, and talk about it. You know, I see the ideas that have to be part of the of us to see what we do and, and we appreciate that because you know, this is under the light and they may be a really good student and you know, they may struggle and you see that you step in and help that way. We don't see what we can do from a little bit earlier. And I will use Leah as an example. She was a great personality off the court, and then she goes on on the court. She's one of the most competitive people we have. Terrifying. And, <laughs> and it's funny to see those different personalities. That, that was the wrong right. word. Yeah. Yeah. Intense. Oh, intense. 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 Yeah. Fierce. Yeah. So to see that, I think, it put the perspective of people of seeing you outside the classroom as well as you seeing them outside the classroom. And that's one of the benefits that I saw this year is to be able to bond this year. Do a lot more of that here, you know. Uh, academics is a, a big part for us with these girls. We have to feel that pretty strong. Holding a 3.4 inch for class and just being discovered during like this semester. Because we don't use uh, Dr. McCluskey like many others do in the sense of her having to get you out of class or help you getting in classes. You guys take care of that your, yourself, which is, which is great. But I do know that if ever anything ever happens, we could call you. Um, we just haven't had to use you in that aspect of uh, being effective. On our right now, we like the part of you just belong, you know. And to me, Dr. Robinson said it all the time, belong, right? And that, to me, was the biggest thing that she did is being part of us. Like, no matter what, like, we go to NCA for next year, you're coming with us. 
You're not, you're so part I'm, of us now. Mark the tape. <laughs> you're, you're, you're part of us now. You go wherever we go. So, um, we appreciate you know, you stepping out, taking time outside on the weekends. That's a big thing. A lot of people don't know. We work every Saturday, you know, and whether it's 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 6 a.m., sometimes, you know, um, you saw that they were working. Um, you saw that experience. I think that's pretty awesome that you know, have that relationship. So, I really thank you for being part of us. Um, yeah, to add on to that, like there was even uh, one day I had a pretty good game and you emailed me afterwards and that was just like nice to see. Like I was like, ha like when I saw that email, I was like, wow, it's really nice that like she took the time to email me and just was like, that was a great game. And like, I feel like there have been times where like, not that I need like the recognition and stuff, but like, I don't know, you feel good coming off a big win or something. You go to class the next day and like no one knows. It's just I just had the best game ever and like no one but like it was yeah, like yeah. nice that like you acknowledge that and like I you know so I feel like that's another thing too because I mean we don't always get the biggest fans in our game so it's nice like even like that just to be like appreciative and stuff like that too did you have a pretty good game yes yeah yeah I'm, try I'm trying to be I'm trying to be <laughs> humble, humble. <laughs> I'm trying I mean hopefully they've seen it so they already know what I'm talking about I think she dropped five threes for 27 points. And if you didn't, come next to and watch it in person. Yeah. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> yeah. Fans, that was, yeah, out. that was that game. So that was nice. I was actually saying, I was like, I think that's going to be my good luck charm because the game she went to, I did pretty well. So I don't know. <laughs> you meant to keep. Well? I did. Okay. The game she went to, I did very well. <laughs> but so I feel like maybe you do have to, we have to keep it around. It seems to be working for me at least. <laughs> Speaking of doing pretty well, though, I know Coach has celebrated a big milestone. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, yesterday was the 500th of my 300th game ball, which was pretty awesome. The reason why is because nobody knew I was going for my 300th because of the playoff. And even my coaches afterwards were saying, why are you talking? Greg's probably the only person, I didn't tell my husband, um, that we were going for 300 and very superstitious. So that's part of the thing, so let's not talk about it. So when it happened, it was pretty cool because one of my assistants was like, oh, she just had 300. So when we went in, they were fired up at 31, and then pretty fired up when we were having 300. And then we had to parents step in and get a nice little dinner uh, the next day. And then yesterday, they gave me a ball, which was awesome. I love all the hard work to add in my office, so I appreciate that. And then my coach just took me out to dinner after the bowl was last night. I went down and my kids there. So, um, I say all the time, we're a family, and last night they really showed me how much they care about me. But, uh, I feel like you know we're constant, a constant for my kids, and they showed the see that they did for me last night. They're very special. So thank you, thank you, ladies. Just back to family and belonging. Like certainly the the academic athletic partnership, but being down there and being on the bench for the first time, like ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's seen all of the pieces that go into athletics. Like it's the pep band and it's the, the students who are working on the scoring and, you know, the, the fans and being able to talk to your parents. And, um, yeah, if you, if, if the people listening to the podcast, if you, if you haven't participated in, in a basketball event, really one of the underscore things that really kind of encourage you to, uh, to get the season marked on your calendar this year. So let me ask you, you know, we loved it having you. How did you feel, you know, as this new partnership on your end? Yeah. I'm going to answer for my husband first. <laughs> Fair. He's <laughs> part of us. He's, a, he's an extension of you. And I kept, I kept waving you guys off, like, come sit on the bench. I'm like, no, I can't sit on the bench. Like, I'm happy to be here. Um, so we, we eventually got down and we sat on the bench and he came with me and it was the most stressful like <laughs> hour and a half like because he he likes to be participatory is that a nice uh, that's, during that's as nice as you can put it. during <laughs> athletic competitions and there were perhaps some things he didn't agree with and there was a basket that was not scored correctly and he's like hitting he's like they're missing two I'm like what do you want? <laughs> 
<laughs> about that. Um, so although he very much enjoys coming to the games, he has respectfully requested that for like his cardiovascular health, that he gets to gets to sit in the stand so he doesn't uh, he doesn't have to refrain from uh, from speaking his mind. He was great. The first day he had my back on every call. It was awesome. It's like having another coach on the bench. <laughs> he did a great job. And that's that's I, awesome. Can an athletic partner's husband get a technical? Is that even possible? If you're sitting, if you're, uh, which is why he's going to be in the stands. In my well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to explain my own, <laughs> which is great, and, and that's that. Mary or Leo? Have I know? Well, both of you are business majors, but anyone else? Do you know anyone else on the team who have? reached out to Dr. McCluskey for help or just advice? That's a tough question because um, we haven't gotten that that far yet. I think that's going to be the extension moving forward, you know, to, it was more kind of building the family trust first, I think. And I think moving forward, you know, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I think moving forward, now you know a little bit more what you can use and how she's here for us. I think that's why, you know, I don't want to call it a pilot program this year. Arissa, don't get mad. But uh, to me, it's just figuring out how this works first and then build upon it. And I think moving through it with Greg's asking because that's something we may be using for uh, in the future. But right now, I think we're still trying to figure out how how this, how back on the athletic trip and women's basketball kind of coexist and how we can use each other. I agree with Coach, and to my knowledge, no, I don't think that anyone has reached out, but um, I think that from my own perspective, if there was a nursing professor um, or like a biology professor or something that was our rep, I might not think to reach out first because I don't really have that connection with them, so I feel like maybe me and Mary feel a lot more comfortable to reach out, maybe Mia, because she is a business major too. I don't think we had her, but I think that we just have more of a connection and more of a relationship that we would feel more comfortable to reach out, whereas the other girls who are different majors might not think that they relate when in reality you're a person. You're not just a business major. I'm major. <laughs> associate team. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Associate team. <laughs> so I think that that's definitely a big thing. I think like what Coach said, as the years go on or as the season goes on and progresses, that relationship will become stronger and they might think, oh, maybe I should reach out to Dr. McCloskey and hopefully we'll do with this. Some good advice. I'm probably on me a little bit too. I did send a couple emails to, to students after extraordinary games. There was one student that you know, kind of struggled to introduce themselves to me when I initially came down and then like saw that player on the court and like that was not like a quiet, um, you know, kind of not putting myself out there person. And, you know, I, I did reach out because that, that student when they introduced themselves like said, you know, I'm, I'm quiet and like there's sometimes stories that we tell ourselves and you know, I wanted them to know that, you know, you're not you're not quiet, you just don't speak with your words. Like you were speaking with your actions today. And like sometimes we have to flip that that script that we're telling ourselves. I feel like it's also building on that, like kind of what Coach was saying with the family aspects and kind of what I spoke about earlier. Like I feel like first we built the relationships within ourselves and then we kind of work our way up. Cause I feel like now I can like with the incoming first years, like I could refer them to you now, like, and I would feel comfortable doing that. Like if they have a question, like I could answer, but if I don't know, I feel like I could just give them your email and you, I would like, no, like I know that you would answer, like answer it properly and help them. So I feel like it's like building that connection to it. Like now we've started to build it and then now we can like work it through and like, continue. And I think on our end, as coaches aware, have a lot of business majors coming in as first years, so we were able to, honestly, Leah and Mary both uh, posted both the business majors for a class, uh, both are welcome, 
And honestly, when I sat down with Dr. McCluskey and our recruit, I learned so much in 15 minutes that I just didn't know. And now I use it on a daily basis right now. Um, and I'm going to plug the business department here, but they have a 100% placement rate right now. And that's unbelievable. That's I use that for every recruit. And how many kids can you tell me to say, I know I'm going to get a job? You're saying, I know you can get a job. And I'm able to relay that to these recruits now um, and feel good about it, you know? Because, and I'm sure the rates are going to go up and down, right? Just like anything else. But even nine five percent that's still unbelievable. And, you know, so using you for recruiting has been very helpful. And if you couldn't do it, except for the back of Adams to do it, you know? So that relationship, we're building our team by you companies. And I, a lot of people don't want to realize that. And that's where we have been taking this is to introduce my uh, first years as well as, hey, you're going to have her too. Right? <laughs> At some point, as we get this major, we'll have you. So um, that's what I've I been using it as I think that's what I'm really looking for. Where you want to go with this and where you want to go moving forward. And one of those things is going to be, let's get her to practice, right? Let's get her to practice and uh, have her run some, some doubles. 24 <laughs> seconds. Out and back, you make it. She can run for me. <laughs> it's quality. Not quality. <laughs> I think all the, the athletic faculty reps should be invited to a, to a workout with the teams. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Let's see actually how hard they work. You know, we'll do it. Obviously, in our school, we run a lot, right? Yeah. It, I got the eye rolls still sitting here. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's you see how much work they do. Well, I appreciate it for us. Um, so it's nice getting here. Because they talk about it. That's the thing we don't know. And then you said, that was very long. And he said, I'm going to do cuts. He loved it. So, we appreciate that. And I guess moving forward with faculty and reps, and I'd like to give a shout out to the people who started this with me, Morris and Leslie. It's a lot of people saying, come on, you can see it. Those three have been a big part of this working uh, and getting you guys and us together. So I, I'm very thankful. They thought about this. The backstory of how the associate deans and Marissa kind of came together. Here. So there's a lot of us with associate in the in the title, and we get together periodically to you know, see how we can be working better together. And who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it started kind of early in the year. We we could sit outside, and it's hard to put on your calendar. I'm going to Uno's for two hours this afternoon. Yeah. So it goes on our calendars as the Garden of Innovation. <laughs> I love it. That is great. <laughs> and we did. Like, Larissa came and joined us, a bunch of associate deans, and we drank beer, and we, like, really talked through, like, what this could be, what our challenges are, how we could work better together. And, uh, yeah, all, so all the credit to Larissa. Of, you were part of this. I was part of getting this together to go to the Uno's. <laughs> That was my coach. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Okay, I did not know that was exactly how that started. So, thank you, Mr. Shannon. I love this So, I had to add a few people. So, thank you. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you going. So, there's obviously recruiting is bringing you on games. Do you guys raise money to support the team as well? Yeah, so, <laughs> let me go on this one. All right. So I like to take the team twice in their four years over the Christmas break because we are here for five weeks. Everybody else is gone. They get about seven to nine days over the Christmas break. We go home and then every time else they're here. Well, this upcoming year, we're going to Fort Lauderdale over the Christmas break for five days. So we are in the process of raising money at this point. And 
one of the things that we do, we do a lot of fundraising with our men's basketball team, which is good because we have a men's sport that's in the group groups together that they work well together. So we're doing a golf out on July 24th at Lulu Country Club in Glenside. So anybody that a golfers would love for you to come out. Uh, <laughs> so we we do fundraise. Uh, they have to specifically fundraise a certain amount, uh, which is difficult sometimes, you know. We're going to sell t-shirts over the summer. And buy t-shirts from them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy them from Mary. Buy them from me. <laughs> $20. Yep, $20. I'll do 15 <laughs> I'm going to do the first one who emails me. Oh, all right. Right. <laughs> they're pulling that out right now. No. <laughs> um, so we do do a lot of fundraising um, because I don't want people to have it. So when we're at Fort Lauderdale, we're not going to fast food restaurants. We're, we're going to their hospital. Like <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Garden of Innovation. Yeah. <laughs> they need to come up with something. Women's basketball. Okay. Arenas, you, know? you guys aren't allowed to invite it. We don't want to come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to run. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we do do some fun fundraising. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. We ask them more than just to get on a court and play basketball and lift at 6 a.m. You know, they're they're constantly trying to build that program and build it to have a greatest team after this experience. And to me, going to Fort Lauderdale for five days is like one heck of an experience when they get there. You get one full day, the rest of the practice and that, and we have two weeks there. Um, but other than that, they get the beach. Right? And I know that's where they want to go. Yeah. So they'll have one day at the beach, which uh, is better than one. Two days while they're down. And the faculty athletic rep just follows you on Instagram. <laughs> is Instagram the best way to get information about the t-shirts, about the golf outing, and, and what is your Instagram? Winer WBV. I think. Yeah. That's where we Thank post. Thank God I have young kids. I yeah. have no idea. No, I mean, was. that's where we post everything. I feel like that's, like, we always say, like, link in bio, and then we all repost it, too. So, like, other people can Cause that's what we were saying when we were thinking about things like fundraising, like the t-shirts, we were thinking how easy that is because like kids would wear like a wider basket, just a wider basketball shirt. And if I just put it on my story, they can easily just swipe up and say, yeah, I'll get a large in this color or whatever. And, like, your friends will buy them and stuff. So it'll, like, a lot, I feel like that's a really good way. So that's what I feel like we start selling on Instagram. And the Riffle Widener was a big hit. Uh, we did one in the fall and University of Fort Lauderdale in the spring, and um, we did really well in the fall. We asked so many names, so uh, that's an easy way for us. You know, we go out, we have fun when we have a golf outing, and still have to go out and do it. You know, um, so it's been great. It's been great. They, they know we do a good job of it. Um, you can also follow on TikTok. We actually have a lot of followers. We had a few viral videos. Um, we're still trying to grow every single day, so anything helps. Any like just helps. Oh. But yeah, we should probably post on there because maybe we have some fans. People like our videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah, we did. Actually, did go I went viral. You went viral. <laughs> she went viral. <laughs> she wasn't cursing. No, no. She wasn't yeah. cursing. Very good. <laughs> it actually was just us. Like they were. What would be the word? yeah imitating? You were like posing you as picture takers. Right? Yeah, got that. And just follow us. Like, that's what are we, Wider Women's Basketball? I think it's, I mean, it was pretty yeah. fun. Even when I, I don't do like that, but like, people just don't do it actually. Um, players don't do that, which is very good about it. Shout out. Shout out to me. Shout out to me, yeah. Mia Robbins. Mia Robbins, business, not a business, business major. major. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, if you have a great time, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's also a way to see our personalities. I think that we really just we give our all into every single TikTok that's made. Yeah, <laughs> we do. So, are you dancing? What are you? Um, no, I don't it's think so. Stuff. I mean, we try like we do like funny like funny tricks, things, but like kind of like make it into basketball too. Like, yeah. and like we'll ask like more trivial questions in the game, which player. Yeah. Right? And 
like that's just like, Mia was like the top answer. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just like fun stuff. Yeah. Like they have a good personality that way. That seems like maybe the person just feelings, but they all laugh about it. They, yeah. They made it easier for me because they feel like they have a great personality. Just you know, great personality. Yeah. Yeah. And so as we wrap everything up here in part two of the Widener Athletic Professor and Athletic Team Relationship and Mentorship Program, Tana, thanks for taking the time and joining us today. Thanks. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Mary, Leah, and Elisa, congratulations on your season. And we can't wait to see you know, what's, what's in the future. Thanks, Greg. Thank Appreciate yeah. it for putting it together. Um, this is a great event for women's basketball and girls and athletic development. So thank you for what you do. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us on episode four, part two. Good luck with finals, and we'll see you next season on the Widener World of Sports podcast. You can always find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Good luck. Go Pride. Go Pride. Go Pride. Go Pride.